Ryan Garcia says he has no worries about the power of Javante Tank Davis. Reality or fantasy? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, so Ryan Garcia recently gave a lengthy interview to the Last Stand podcast. And he spoke about the upcoming fight between him and Javante Davis and how he feels like it's going to play out, why he feels like this is a super fight, and if he's worried about the power of Javante Davis. And just wanted to break that down, get my thoughts on what Ryan had to say, if it is a reality or if this is a fantasy situation playing out in the mind of Ryan Garcia. All right, so basically, let's start out with why he feels like this is a super fight. So they basically asked Ryan, why do you think that this fight is so big and there's so many people interested in this fight actually taking place? And he gave a pretty interesting answer to that. He said that he feels like it's the fan bases outside of boxing that are dictating the size of this fight that it's really not the hardcore boxing fans uh that either one of those guys have that are making this a super fight but it's the fact that Javante Davis basically has a community behind them the community of Baltimore Maryland uh behind them supporting them and you know he has a lot of outside fans when it comes to hip hop and and hip hop fans a lot of those fans, they're, they're there because of the the rappers that Javante aligns himself with. And they really don't follow his day-to-day. -day. They don't really, they're not really into boxing that much. They they like the, the aspect of fighting, you know, because there's a lot of beef within rap. But they're not actually following the way he trains. They don't really know, you know, whether he's a southpaw or orthodox. That's not really their concern. And similar for Ryan Garcia when it comes to his Instagram following. You know, he has a lot of female followers. Now, I've said this in the past. A lot of those females, they're not following him because he's an excellent boxer or because he trains with a certain piece of equipment or he can throw a punch from a certain angle. They follow him because they think he's cute. <laughs> now, I, you know, I'm not a hater, so I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, well, he don't deserve to have that big of a following. That's, those are not real boxing fans that are following him. Those are females that just think he's cute, you know. No, I think that's good for boxing because a portion of those females are actually going to turn into real boxing fans just off the fact that they like how Ryan Garcia looks. So I would have to totally agree with him that there's a different dynamic at play with him and Javante. Uh, that's different than other fighters, maybe like a uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko and um, whoever, you know. People are not following Vasil. You know, there might be some, but a lot of women aren't following Vasil because he looks good, you know. I'm not saying he don't look good. <laughs> you know, I don't judge men. I'm not that dude, you know. But most of those females are not following him because of the way he looks. They're following him. Because they're probably female boxing fans, and you know, or they're from uh, the Ukraine where he's from, and they just supporting their man from Ukraine. So it's a whole different dynamic at play when it comes to the two fan bases, and the fact that they're getting so much publicity uh, for this fight. Now, are they going to hit that magical one million buy mark? You know, that's to be discussed. You know, that's to be seen. We, we can have a discussion about that later. I think they're going to do some real good numbers. I don't think this is going to be any type of a flop fight at all. You know, we're not going to see no Terrence Crawford numbers in, in this fight. And then they ask him how does he feel the fight is going to play out. He said he feels like it's going to be a thinking man's fight. There's going to be a firefight, you know, at points. You know, there's going to be places where... Javante might catch him. He was very honest about that. He's like, you know what? If he catches me, he catches me. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But, you know, there might be points in the fight where Javante pressures him and catches him with some big shots. He might hit the canvas. He 
might knock him out. We don't know. But Ryan Garcia definitely said that he has no fear of, of Javante Davis and that he's not going into the fight afraid of his power because it's not the, the shots that you see that are going to hurt you. It's the shots that you don't see that are going to hurt you and knock you out. So he said he feels like as long as he sees the punches coming, he has no reason to fear Javante Davis or have a fear that the fight's not going to play out in his favor. Now, when it comes to the power of Javante Davis, he said he's not afraid of the power because, once again, it's the shots that you don't see that are actually going to hurt you and knock you out rather than the shots that you see. And that's very true. I have to agree with Ryan Garcia there. It's the it's the, those those big bombs, you know, those looping punches, those uppercuts when you're throwing a combination that you don't don't really see that are going to be the the determining factor of whether you win or lose a fight. Now, when it comes to the power playing a significant role within the Ryan Garcia uh, Javante Davis fight. How's that going to play out? You know, is the power going to have a that big of a role for Javante Davis? I would have to say, yeah, it's going to be up to Ryan to keep Javante off of him, you know, to work the ring, to be looking out for those power shots, like he said, those shots that you may not see coming. That way he doesn't get knocked out early or he doesn't get floored early and fall behind within the fight. As well as, I think we're once again forgetting the fact that Javante Davis has always been touted as one of the best boxers, pure boxers. You know, when he was a younger fighter, he was praised for being a technical fighter. You know, it wasn't just the knockout power. So, you know, once again, Ryan Garcia is right that he shouldn't be completely worried about the power of Javante Davis because those are not his only skill sets. He has the ability to box. He knows how to cut off a ring. He knows how to work a ring. He has good foot movement. He has good hand speed. Javante Davis is a complete fighter, and we're going to find out on April the 22nd whether Ryan Garcia is a complete fighter and not just a Instagram star you know not just a instagram famous for no reason you know he's not really that talented within a boxing ring y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below hit that like button for me share 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 subscribe 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 holler at me on all social media platforms facebook instagram youtube twitter more than likely to get a response on the tube so holler at me over there if you want to collabo hit my gmail flock of cards at gmail.com and we are Man, you see it from the other loop when them five from Saints Players stay around green like a garden snake Okay, okay, you see I'm trying to rescue My nieces and my nephews, put them in the prep school I suggest you approach respect food In the hood ain't too many intellectuals So they love it when I flow and cycle The 502 disciple And plus I ride with one wheel like a unicycle Brown herd niggas too cool to fight you They'll much rather hang tools and rifles Snipe you, lose it, 10 highlights you I pull up at a low speed Blow weed, cop sir, word, but I proceed Nigga, we supposed to win And y'all never gon' Like the oats and twins, I got my shoes on the block. Weed in my sock, fiends with the rock, PD with the Glock. Ain't mad at town, niggas don't believe that it's hot, but it goes down, believe it or not. So my cheese on the block, weed in my sock, fiends with the rock, PD with the Glock. Ain't mad at town, niggas don't believe that it's hot, but it goes down, believe it or not. We got churches next door to lift the stoves, niggas pole, still trying to get the dough. Talk shit, and it might. Get physical, seen a lot, but I never been no witness, though. In my environment, snitches expire quick and getting out.